Okay, this is matrix multiplication C30, and we're going to look at uh, how, basically how exponents apply to matrices. So here's our sample matrix A, and what we want to do is find A squared A cubed A to the fourth, and then some general formula for A to the N. So if we had to take this guy and multiply by itself 12 times, what would the end result be? Well, here's what it looks like. First of all, A squared is going to be equal to A times A, and that's, of course, going to be 1, 2, 0, 1 times 1, 2, 0, 1. And this is not too hard a product. Again, 1, 2 times 0, 1 produces 1 plus 0, and that's the upper left-hand corner. 1, 2 times 2, 1 produces 2 plus 2. That's 4. The bottom row, 0, 1 times 1, 0 produces 0, and 1, 0 times 2, 1 produces 1. So there it is, that is uh, a squared, a times a. So I'm tempted right now to look at it and go, hey, maybe it's everything squared, like the individual element squared. Zero squared is zero, one squared is one, one squared is one, and two squared is four. So maybe that's what this a to the n will be, just square the individual elements. But let's keep looking for the pattern. a cubed then is gonna be a squared times a. And we already know a squared is one, four, zero, one, and I'll multiply that by another a, one, two, zero, one. And once again, two by two matrices aren't so bad. One, four times zero, one is one. That's the upper left-hand corner. One, four times two, one is two, plus four, that's six. And that already breaks my pattern. Again, uh, a cubed gives me a six for this element, so it's certainly not two uh, cubed, uh, which we thought might be the pattern, so that breaks it. Uh, and then the bottom row is 0, 1 times 1, 0, that's 0, and 0, 1 times 2, 1 is 1. So there it is. So uh, who knows, all the elements that are here are the same. And this guy right here, uh, if, if n is 2, then this is 2 times 2. If uh, n is 3, then this is 2 times 3. So maybe that upper right-hand corner is 2n, and everything else remains constant. Let's check a4. So a to the fourth is going to be a cubed times another a. So let's check that. a cubed is 1, 6, 0, 1. And if I multiply that by another a, 1, 2, 0, 1, we get, uh, again, uh, 1, 6 times 1, 0 is 1 for the upper left-hand corner. Uh, the upper right-hand corner is 2 plus 6. That's 8. Uh, 0, 1 times 1, 0 is 0 and 0, 1 times 2, 1 is 1. So yeah, that's the way it's looking. It's looking like a to the n is going to be equal to 1, 0, 1, and then this guy here is 2n. And I think that produces all of these. When n is 2, that's 4. When n is 3, that's 6. When n is 4, that's 8. It looks like it holds. This is a to the n.